this is an article that just came out in the Post and Courier. Great death, new, very deadly drug cocktail reaches South Carolina as authorities combat opioids. Actually, great death is not new, um, but it's probably reached South Carolina for the first time. That part might be true, but the drug itself is definitely not new. It's called gray death because if, when you look at it, it actually looks like a little piece of concrete. It looks like concrete in one dose, but the size of a grain of salt can be deadly. Authorities say a new potent opioid combination dubbed gray death has moved into South Carolina. Gray death is a potent mix of heroin, fentanyl, and a synthetic opioid called U47700 and carfentanil, a substance that's normally used to tranquilize elephants and is a hundred times stronger than fentanyl. It's turned up on the streets in Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, and in the past several months, the Myrtle Beach area. What grade death is representative of is the introduction of the drug cocktail, said Patrick Apil, an agent with the DEA whose area extends from Lee County to Horry County. Grade death is nothing more than a very potent very deadly cocktail. Lieutenant Jamie Debari, who heads up the Horry County Police Department Narcotic Unit, says officers saw the substance a few times over the summer. He wasn't aware of the drug being tied to any overdose deaths in the county. And it shows you the difference this heroin and then fentanyl and then carfentanil doesn't take much to kill you. I don't know why anybody would want to take something intended for a damn elephant. I assume it's still making its way um, this way. He said, we're still combating heroin epidemic. Fentanyl and its derivatives, um, which as carfentanil, can be absorbed through the skin. And that's the scary thing. You don't even have to take this stuff. You don't have to ingest it. You don't have to snort it or smoke it. Just touching somebody that's overdose can cause you to overdose, which April said can cause overdose or death from just touching the substance. This, what authority in Miami said, may have killed a 10 year old boy who was somehow exposed to the painkiller while walking home from a community swimming pool in June. And that was little 10 year old Alton um, down there. And it that was sad. I hate to see children get caught up in that, especially black children. April said addicts elsewhere in the Southeast have called 911 before using heroin lace with fentanyl to request that someone respond to their address in 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? They're calling 911 ahead of overdosing? Oh man, these addicts are getting nuttier and nuttier. So they're calling ahead 30 minutes because they're going to be overdosing. Oh my God. That is insane. <laughs> Woo, man, these people are nuts. It can take multiple doses of the antidote, Narcan, to revive someone who has overdosed on carfentanil. And I said sometimes they can't bring people back at all if they um, took carfentanil. Okay, Dabari is aware of the threat these synthetic opioids pose to law enforcement who respond to overdoses. Officers wear protective gear when dealing with fentanyl. We've seen cases through the nation of where it has affected officers who are unaware or don't know what they're dealing with, Dabari said. Well, I would think being that the 
drug plague is so big in America that your officers would be aware of these drugs, especially if they're coming in contact with addicts with Narcan. Why wouldn't they know? That seems crazy to send them out there and they don't know about the drugs. On Thursday, law enforcement officials held a news conference in Charleston addressing joint efforts to combat the opioid crisis in the Tri-County region. Jason Sandoval, a DEA agent in Charleston, said synthetic opioids have taken over the heroin market. Locally, the manufactured drugs started appearing more frequently towards the end of 2016. The first reported substance of great deaths was uh, was in January 2017, and not long after we actually started purchasing it through undercover operations, he said. Dealers buy synthetic derivatives for um, great death online from China. I figured it was ch from China. It, it had to be. Mexican cartels have also recognized fentanyl uh, profit potential. Sandoval said that while it can be tough to trace the source of synthetic opioids, authorities have busted fentanyl labs in the United States. One such lab was uncovered in Manhattan, New York in August. We're gonna to try to develop information from this operation that leads us to what our primary hubs that service South Carolina are, Sandoval said. And we'll be working with our state and local partners across the country to try to push back against the supply here in South Carolina. All right, great death in South Carolina. And they called the 911 30 minutes <laughs> before they overdose. I never heard of nothing like that before in my life. Oh, wow. Boy, not only are these people junkies, they are weird. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.